So Beast Academy Math, we tried using it as a supplement this year. And while it didn't really work for us the way we used it, um, I did like things about it and I could very well see us using it again in the future. So today I want to just chat about why. Hi and welcome. Thanks for joining me today. So if you're new, I'm a young homeschool mom of three children. I will have a preschooler and a kindergartner. My kindergartner is a little bit advanced, so she's doing kind of half kindergarten, half first grade this year. Um, I'm also a homeschool graduate myself, so it has been a ton of fun uh, coming from that background of experiencing it myself to teaching it. It's different, but I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, this last year, I did kind of some early pre-K work with my younger daughter and preschool slash kindergarten work with my older daughter. We did a kindergarten math called Math with Confidence, and we love it. Love, love, love it. But she finished super early, um, and even though we did it a second time, she just flew through it. And so I was trying to find something to fill in the gap of time between her finishing that and summer. And I decided to give Beast Academy a try. Um, now, I liked some things about it. It didn't work for us the way we used it. And what do I mean by that? So I tried out the assessment. They have a tool online to assess if they're ready for level. So with the first book, level 1A, I did the assessment and she qualified on the low end, but she was within the range of, they say, if they get this many problems, they can do it. So I thought, okay, we'll give it a shot. And we did. Um, so what didn't work? Um, let me just say this. Beast Academy is an advanced math. And um, I would not recommend it for a child who is not math savvy. My daughter is math savvy, um, but still it was a little bit beyond her, not all of it, but we had finished kindergarten math and I moved her into level one of Beast Academy. So I kind of um, went from kindergarten to first grade from a normal math to an advanced math. And that was probably a bad choice on my part. I thought she might be able to do it, especially since she tested in the assessment as so. Um, but I think it was just a little bit too far of a jump. But even with that and with the frustrations attached with that, she still liked it. So, I mean, that says good things for it. Um, and just to clarify, we did not try the online portion of Beast Academy, just a physical book. So I can't speak to that at all. Um, and let me show you, just if you're not familiar with Beast Academy, a little bit of how it's set up. So it's monsters. There's a lot of little student monsters going to Beast Academy. You meet their teachers and you learn their lessons with them. So the way it's set up is that you will have a lesson and the lessons are written in comic book style. So the teachers are talking to their students and the students are giving the answers. And in the course of the lesson, you learn what they're trying to teach you. Um, my daughter thought it was really fun. I read it to her. She wasn't quite there to read it herself without it being a struggle. She wouldn't have retained the math if she had read it herself, even though she could read it. Um, and she loved it. So then after that, you have some problems. They give you a, a whole set of problems, um, various types. And as you go, the problems start getting, um, they start changing and they get harder and harder as they go. And the end ones are always the most difficult. Now this one um, focused on, I think I have the, uh, the table of contents here in the beginning, counting shapes and comparison. So even with just those topics, oh, I thought my daughter would be well suited to it. Um, but while she could follow the lesson and she could, and while she could do the first half of the problem sets and she could, the second half were just too hard for her. Um, and it's not that it's a different concept, it's just they take the concept into a more advanced way of applying it and they stretch their brains a little more, which is great and great if you have an advanced math kid. Um, but it ended up just being too frustrating. So we could have continued on using it and just doing part of the problems, but I thought, oh, that doesn't seem very fruitful and we were nearing summer anyway, so we just called a pause to it. Um, but I could definitely see picking it up again as a supplement after she's done first grade math with her normal curriculum, using then the first grade level as a re review reinforcement and stretching those concepts a little bit um, once she has those concepts a little more firmly under her belt. So I think if I were to use it again, I would definitely not go ahead a step with this level, at least for her right now. I would go backwards a step, maybe equal, and use it as a reinforcement in that way. Um, I could also see using this. So um, when we go into like middle school math, our, our math probe is going to change and it's a little bit less fun than the one we're currently using. And so I can see this as a supplement. That'd be really fun if you have a math that's a little bit more rote, um, that this could really liven up your math a little bit. Uh, like I said, my daughter enjoyed the comic setup. She enjoyed the problems that she could do. 
Um, but it was just a little frustrating to feel like I could see when I could see the problems that I, we were stretching her too far in trying to get her to do them. I think it's fun. I think it's well written. Um, I, I think it's colorful. I think the problems that they actually use, even the ones that stretch you, are a little bit fun. And so I like that. Um, but you definitely need to use it more at level. Like I said, you should use this only with a math savvy child. Um, not just because it's advanced in the problems, but because with that comic book format of a lesson, if your child doesn't pick up on mathematical concepts quickly, um, that will not be enough for them. Um, it's not hands-on enough. It's not, it's spelled out enough, but even as adult, I can see if your child has struggles with math, then don't do this. I mean, unless they're really word savvy and like talking out a problem maybe if your child like works well that way then it would work well but if your child struggles then this does not spell it out in enough detail for them um and so i would just caution that um but like i said i do like it and i think it has its place i i'm thinking about using it like if somebody asked me would you use that as a math program in its entirety just that uh if your child is good with math i think they could do it and i'm sure it would be great like i said this is known as an advanced math um program. And I know that they have online components, so maybe that would help as well. Um, but I really like what we're doing for math, so I'm not going to change it. But I did want to try this out. I've seen a lot of people who use the Math with Confidence, which we're using, like this as a supplement. So that's probably what triggered my interest in it to begin with. Um, and like I said, I'm not against it. I'm not against using it again in the future. It just wasn't right the way I pulled it out now. So I don't know if that helps at all. I don't know if that gives you a better idea of if you're looking at using it as a supplement of maybe how you should or shouldn't use it. I hope so. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Uh, I'd be interested to know if you've used Beef Academy. And if you like it, comment below and let me know because I'd be interested to hear your experience because everybody has a different experience.